Sleep apnea can increase the risk of this type of cancer by about 20 to 50 percent, which is huge. And I'll tell you what it is in a moment, and I'll give you a hint. I'm already giving you a hint. You just got to look closely here. And how this happens is twofold. When you have sleep apnea, you have a ton of oxidative damage that just occurs every single time you stop breathing. Oxygen goes up, it goes down. You have oxidative species created in your cells, causes damage. But then the second big thing is that your body's number one antioxidant, especially in your epithelial cells, and we'll talk about why epithelial cells are very important, melatonin. It is underproduced because you have bad sleep problems. Now, epithelial cells are the fanciest way, I could say, skin or surface layers in your cell, whether your skin or your gut. So the number one cancer that's going to be increasing with sleep apnea, or one of the top ones rather, is skin cancer. And this is your hint right here, okay? I'm surprised no one made fun of me for being Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rain Doctor, but I got sunburned like the other day and nobody made fun of me. So what the heck? <laughs> Come on, guys. So in fixing or reducing your risk, there's three big things to consider. Obviously, I mean, improving sleep apnea would be one of them, but I have a few things for you that you can try out before all that happens. So number one is to use red light therapy. Now that can be from a red light therapy box, from one of those wands, a, a bed, or even getting gentle red light from the sun, either the first two hours of the day or the last two hours of sunlight. That will actually prepare your skin for UV rays in the morning and help it repair in the later afternoon. Number two is internal sunscreen. Very fancy sounding, right? These are compounds like beta carotenes or astaxanthin. Those are antioxidants that have been shown to reduce the risk of sunburn. And thus, if you do that, you're going to reduce your risk of skin cancer. And then number three, yes, is going to be improving sleep apnea. So doing breathing exercises to help slow your breathing down, whether it's box breathing or like a five count in, 10 count out, that's going to help you sleep better, reduce the problem underneath. So you're doing better during the day. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.